In this episode, I'm going to cover native Android debugging. So let's say you have a problem with running your Flutter application on Android. So what I do first is start by building the Android APK, then I'll import and open up the project in Android Studio. After that, I'll run the project and check the log and use breakpoints to help drill the issue. So to get started, I'm going to simulate this problem and test it out on Android. So I'm going to minimize that. Okay, what I have here is my Firebase Sandbox application, which I did for my signing in episodes. Well, while I was building it, I had some problems with the Android version and I had to figure it out. So I'm gonna simulate that problem and show you how I drilled it and figured it out. So the first thing is I'm gonna simulate it and I'm gonna run my application. I've set up everything I think I need to set up, which is the Firebase auth, the Google sign in, and I downloaded the Google services.json and put it in the app directory. So let me test it and see if it works. So I'm gonna run it by hitting on the debug button at the top right, and it's gonna to try to launch the Android SDK and push it to Android. Whoops, there I go. There's the Firebase has stopped. Well, I don't see much logging here. What was it? So let me hit the debugger, nothing here either. So let me just go ahead and assume I can't figure it out in this version of an IntelliJ. So I'm not gonna dig into it right here. So what I wanna do is build it so I can open it up in Android Studio. So I'm gonna stop the application from running. And the next thing I wanna do is go to the terminal and I'm gonna build the APK, Flutter Build APK. This will allow me to open up the Android Studio part of the project in Android Studio. So it's now done building. So I'm gonna to go to Android Studio, open it up, and I wanna to navigate to that directory. So the way I open up the project is by importing it. So I'm gonna select on Import Project, and then I'm gonna to navigate to where I generated the project, which is in my documents. It should be not in here. Let's see, it's down in training. Flutter, and here's my Firebase Sandbox, and I'm looking for Android here. This is the Android piece of this project, so I'm gonna open up Android. So I'm gonna select OK so it sets up Gradle. Okay, I'm not gonna update the instant run at this time. I have run through the sequence and you can run it successfully, but it takes a little bit of time to actually work, it, work that out and it's not needed to debug the application at the moment. So I'm gonna close this. And what I wanna do is make this a little bit smaller so I can see this simulator or emulator in this case. And the project will continue to run for a few more minutes and initialize the IDE. Okay, it's all set. So let me see if I can run it. I'm going to hit on the debug icon at the top right here. And that's the same. So I'm going to hit on the debug icon or button, debug app. See if I can load it in my simulator. So I'm going to select the 5X. And this has Google Play, which I need to debug my Firebase application with Google Sign-In Services. So it's gonna to try to launch it. I'm gonna select on Android monitor at the bottom. This is a great place to watch the logging for the simulator emulator. And I can see the emulator and the process is running here. Oop, this is from a previous instance. What was that? Okay, so here's the exception that is throwing, that is causing the app not to load. So what I wanna do is see why it's terminating the process. And here's the exception, it shows a stack trace. And it says the default Firebase is not initialized in the process, my domain name here. So why is it not calling Firebase initialize app? So let me see, maybe I can add a breakpoint and see if it's making it to this method. So let me try that. So I'm gonna to navigate to that class and see if I can add a breakpoint to it. So where is that? So it's not in Google sign in. Here's my application. Here's Java. And here's the main activity. Okay, so main activity. Here's the Flutter, Flutter plugins. The main activity. Let me look at the Firebase auth. And here it is. It's under Firebase auth and it's under in the job. It's in the source directory for Java and IO Flutter Firebase auth. So let me just put a breakpoint here and see if it's making it to this breakpoint. So I'm gonna open up the app again. So I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna run debug again. So I'm gonna load and try to launch the application in this debugging process. 
okay it is making it to this breakpoint so it's supposed to be calling this so it should be working if if all is well so why isn't it working so i'm just going to go ahead and resume and there's the exception again well come to find out after i did some investigation and more detail i won't cover all the steps that i went through but i wanted to show how to make a breakpoint in the source code in the Android Studio, and I wanted to show how to look at the Android monitor for the exceptions and stack traces. And this is very helpful when you got to debug an application and try to drill it down to see what the root cause of the issue is. So as you can see the exception here, well I did a little googling and a little bit of saluting through the internet and I finally found the problem. So what was it? So let me go back to the IntelliJ. I'm going to shut this down and I'll show you what the problem was in this case. I had forgotten to put two commands or two pieces of script in and the first piece was in the build so let me go to Android and so I went to build and where did it go so okay here it is the class path so I added the class path for Google services so that was the first piece and the second piece that I missed was apply the Google plugin so once I applied that applied the Google plugin for Google services and I hit debug it should launch the application. I'm going to launch it in IntelliJ and then I'll go back and, and launch it in Android Studio to show you can do both. Let's see, I don't know why this error is showing up. Let me go back to Android Studio and make sure I finish that. Let me make sure this process is terminated. Okay, go back to Android Studio. Android Studio, where'd you go? I must have minimized it. Open up Android Studio. Okay, what did I do in here? I must have Oh, yep, I caused a problem. Okay, initialize app, so I'm gonna fix that, and that should fix that source code. Then I can go back and relaunch the application. So it does print out a good stack trace in IntelliJ in the Flutter plugin, but in this case, so I'm gonna run it again. Excellent, the application loaded up in my Android emulator. So excellent, so let me terminate that process and I'm going to go to Android Studio and try it again. So I'm going to open up Android Studio and I'm going to run it from Android Studio this time. So I'm going to click on debug and launch it in that emulator. Okay, I'm not going to remind me about doing this here. I'm going to remove this breakpoint too before it gets here. Let's see, I don't know why it didn't load, so I'm going to try it again. Restart app. Open up the emulator. Okay, there it goes. It didn't catch the first time. So the second time I ran it, it worked perfectly. Okay, excellent. So I can run it from Android Studio as well. So both can I run it from IntelliJ IDEA, the Flutter plugin, I can run it from Android Studio. So when I need to debug on Android, I can open up Android Studio and dig in. So this concludes this video today on how to debug the native part of my application in Android Studio. So this concludes debugging native Android. Thanks for watching today. Follow me for more tips and tricks on Flutter, and I'll catch you later.